Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Lobotomy Corporation. Uh, today is the day. Today is the day. I know I said yesterday was the day, but not, no, I, I was lying to you. Today is the day that we complete this midnight ordeal. I have a couple of things to do before we start. First of which, I don't think that we have it. But I am going to see if the suppression that we did yesterday on Firebird actually gave the weapon or not. I don't think it did. Because we didn't actually finish the day. But I am going to check just in case. We're going to do that. Uh, Lauren's alive. That's a good thing that came out of all of this. You know, we uh, we, we were going to have to part with, uh, with 18 Lauren for a little bit there. No, no, not happening. Not happening at all. She's perfectly fine. Uh, Vav. We did not get it. I didn't think that we would. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. That is not something we're going to do yet. It would be nice to get some more people with Vav weapons. However, we're not doing that yet. Today, soul mission. We don't even have to do this. We're not doing his, we're not doing his mission today. Soul mission today. Complete work. Complete work. Uh, give me one moment. I had a lot of tabs open. Uh, I didn't want to open. <laughs> right. So, we are, hopefully, by the end of this episode, going to be able to do Gabira's suppression. We won't be able to do Chesed yet. Did she get... Don't remember? Well, not don't remember. Don't actually know. Uh, we should hopefully be able to do Shis uh, Gabira's suppression and then Chesed's to, like, the day after. Hopefully. Hopefully. That is the goal. But that's... I mean, we're gonna have to see what happens with that. I don't want to work down there. Actually, yeah, I do. I want to get the... I want to get the armor. Who's melting down? You're melting down. We could send somebody in there. Who else is melting down? You're melting down. That's easy. Work you. We work you. We can kill a couple of people. Rip to you, guys. Uh, we're gonna work you. We don't want something... I guess it doesn't matter if we get something good. If it gets out, we're not suppressing it. We're just going to leave. We'll work you again. You can go in this time. I guess we'll work you too. It would be kind of nice to, like, learn some more about it. Riker, you get in there for a little bit. We're definitely going to be... We're definitely going to be very mindful, though. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. Okay, get out. Uh, but wait in here. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. Okay. Uh, we read this one already. Okay, Riker, go back in. I don't actually know what a safe amount of time to be in here is. Uh, five, four... Okay. Shelter from the 27th of March. We did know that. It is an HE. It is an HE. I'm really afraid to keep him in here. The timed ones usually have repercussions if you use them too long. Yeah, I mean, this one, this one lets everything out. That's horrible. That's horrible. If this does something like, I don't even know what this thing could do. Pause. What's the second one say? Uh, the shelter still remains, uh, the shelter still retains the memory of that day. If a subject enters shelter from 27th of March while being pursued by a hostile entity, the subject will become undetectable. That's nice. Uh, safest place on Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, leave. What happened? What happened? What happened? Team. Okay, team, you gotta go. <laughs> team, you gotta go. Uh, team, get him. 
Oh, we can't yet. He hasn't moved out of my... Oh. Oh, no. Okay, Carly, get him. Riker. Get him. Brian. Get him. Antonius and Demo. Get him. Lauren and Rachel. Get him. Hey, you guys run. Get out of there. Get as far away from this place as you can be. We can't speed it up. I remember. We're not in position to be able to, like, get him, though. Uh, you're not going to do anything, because he's pale right now, isn't he? That's fine. That's fine. Everybody's on their way. We should, we should start doing damage now. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely get him taken care of. How did he get out? Did I accidentally send... Did I accidentally send Beep to work with him? Instead of... No, I definitely sent him to Blue Star. How long have we used this for? A minute and 32. Carly, get in there. I'm almost wondering if it wasn't this guy. That seemed really weird, though, to just let one out. Which almost makes me wonder if I didn't do something else. Okay. Company P wished to construct the safest place on Earth. As such, the interior of the shelter houses a large number of non-perishable goods, which would allow anyone who stayed inside to survive for an extremely long period of time. If any subject remains inside shelter of uh, shelter from the 27th of the March for more than 30 seconds, the cutoff counter of randomly chosen abnormality currently contained in the facility will fall to zero. Such phenomena re repeatedly occurred all containment use until the subject exits. Okay. Uh, right. What happens if I just keep you in until we get everything? Or we just get something else? No. Three minutes. You're staying in until we get it. Something else is going to escape. That's okay. What's it going to be? What's out? Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> oh, that's a bad one. Okay, that's fine. We're starting over anyways. Okay, what is this? Thanks to this shelter, the selected refugees were safely shielded from the ocean of endless streams and bloodshed. However, this shelter, while perfectly safe on the inside, alters the reality of the outside to be even more hopeless. It literally makes itself into the safest place on Earth. Okay. This guy seems horrible. Why would I ever want to use this? What could I possibly use this for? I don't think, I don't think there is anything I'd ever want to use it for. That's horrible. It just lets everything out. It's like the cross, but worse. It effectively does the same thing as the cross. Well, okay, I guess maybe saying it's worse than the cross is not the best comparison. It's not good. At least this one doesn't hurt whoever's using it. So, if everything goes sideways we send somebody in there but even then that doesn't help us that's just prolonging the inevitable okay definitely gonna have to think that one over what could what could possibly be a situation in which that is a good thing interesting that's something to mull over that's something to mull over i'm sure it has some sort of a use unbeknownst to me. But, uh... Yeah. Seems really annoying. Uh, you too. It's easy. Lauren and Rachel just run back in in a second. Oh, wait, wait.
You gotta wait till you're full. That's an annoying little, annoying little bit about it. But I mean, I can definitely live with it. Picked a bad day to be walking in a line, my friends. Uh, we should be able to buy this. Punishing burns out. I don't really care. Not quite. Brian needs to work again. I agree again. Uh, and buy all this stuff back since uh, that stayed, which is fine. We can work you again. We can work you again. We can work you again. It's gonna post at meltdown. It's, it's an easy one, so I'm not really worried. Uh, you guys both go in, it doesn't really matter. You go over here. Rachel, you go over here. Not, you guys on this, no, 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 God, no. Don't do that. That was almost disaster. We have one up there, you guys got it. We have one down here, you've got it. Uh, we have one right here, which I don't think anybody is available. You can go up and get it. Uh, and we have stuff over here, but we're gonna have to wait till people are done. Okay, you go down. And then as soon as you're out, you go over. You can go down and help too. Unneeded, but... Just in case. No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, next up is a noon. This is actually pretty easy noon. Boy, remember when that was like... Remember when that was the worst thing that we had to deal with? I miss those days. <laughs> I miss those days. Uh, Beep, you got it. Boop, you got it. Uh, yep. Yep. Ooh, I don't like that. You position right here now. Be ready to get it when he gets out. Not if he gets out, uh, when he gets out. He is going to, to escape. Okay. We're halfway done. This right, we could actually get this mission done if I wanted to. Which probably wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I don't know if I want to. He's going to escape. We could send the team over to fight him. I don't know if I want to. I think... Hmm... Who's available? You're available. You're not really... I changed my mind on them. I changed my mind on that. Brian, I don't want you to work. We're not going to work you anymore. Um, Would it be nice to get another Vav weapon? Yes. Is it essential? Not really. Which is why we're going to pass. It puts a lot of unnecessary strain on to us if we try and do that. Oh boy, where is it? It's up here. I think it always spawns right here. I don't know if that's like for sure, but I have never seen it spawn anywhere else, I don't think. Uh, right, team. I don't know why I slowed him so early. Okay, well I guess you guys, you guys can go help too. Don't go up. Oh, uh, Rachel, you're gonna need to wait. He's definitely gonna get out. Where'd he go? Oh, he moved up. Is he gonna escape while she's working? Can he escape while she's working? Oh, God. Move. Where do I want you? Probably right here. Okay, the team's almost here. Uh, you guys move back in. Oh yeah, you're done. Goodbye. Obliterated. Okay, get ready. Where'd they go? Okay, we have one right here. You two get it. We have one in here. Which you're gonna need to go down and get. He's probably gonna escape momentarily. You two move over and get that one. I think that's all of them. Larn, are you almost there? 
You're working on it. Slow you down. Okay, nice. Nice, we're back. Okay. Harley. Weird Joe. Let's pop a couple guys. You. You. Uh, you. Nice. Now let's keep working, everybody. Punishing birds out. Don't care. Unimportant. Unfazed. Could work one of you. You're pretty easy to work with. But I don't really want to. There's not a need for it. Weird Joe, you can go in. Oh, you have the headpiece back. That's pretty solid. Boy, we've got a lot of boxes for you. You are also getting up there in boxes. A lot of you guys are getting up there in boxes. You definitely have a bunch. Not so much over here. Not so much over here. Okay, how close are we? Kind of close, but not really. You can work again. I'm probably going to hold off on you now. Well, mm, beep. I have faith in you, especially now that you're back to full. I think you got it. I think you got it. We have we have enough for uh one more. So Lauren, you go do that, and then we're just gonna have to deal with meltdowns. Okay, easy. They're all pretty easy. That one's a little bit annoying, but. You can go up and get that. I think it's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're fine. That's the only one I'm a little bit worried about because I don't want him to get the blessing. Maybe I do want him to get the blessing. Maybe I want somebody to get the blessing this turn. I usually give it to Lauren. Part of me feels like we start keeping three people in here and then one specifically to get blessed. Oh, you need to work again. We could have Demo in here for the day and then get Lauren blessed because she is the weaker of the bunch. Hmm. Would that be a terrible idea? I'm not sure. Unsure. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. It's definitely going to be nice to have. Come the, uh, the end of the world here soon. Oh, I'm missing. Oh. Uh, interesting, but not amazing. you again. Um, I don't remember if I did, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again just in case. It's better this it's better safe than sorry. Work you again. No we can't. There's gonna be meltdown. Okay, Pote is easy. That one's annoying. That one's annoying. Brian, you got it. That one's fine. Okay, this is what we have you up here for. Because you can do this one, you'll... Mm, you'll probably be fine. What did you take? Sanity damage? What'd you take? Okay, you did. One bullet is not gonna be the end of the world. You're melting down, but I'm not using it. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, that looks like it's everything. Everything I'm doing right now. We can buy this. I don't know why, like, we need it, but, I mean, we can. It doesn't really matter. Work you again. We work you again. But, oh, God. 
Okay, he's escaped. If we wait, he'll go back on his own. But I could use the rabbit team, which I think I might do. I can't. That's right. <laughs> I, I keep... Okay, he's out, but that's fine. I'm not worried. That's why we have Rachel here. Uh, you two... Well, Lauren, you can go up and help. Okay, you need to slow down. Okay, you need to slow down for real, and you need to go on that. Both of you need to get on that. You've been slowed down, but you're still way too fast. Slow down again. Do some damage, please. I understand that you're ranged, but please, for the love of God... Okay, team. Uh, Lauren is incapable on her own. He's about to go up to his next level. This is not good. This is not good. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to do it now. We should be okay. The rest of the team is coming. We should be okay. No, we should be fine. We should be fine. Slow down. Yeah, we're okay. We're fine. Firebird is still escaping. He's back. Crisis has been averted. Crisis has been averted. Good news is, she will definitely not get out this time. Uh, you know what, Rachel? I kind of had more hope in, in your abilities just then. Lauren, you're going to need to go up and help. Because she is too slow to distract him. She is way too slow. Which is fine, just annoying. We're doing okay time-wise. Doing okay time-wise. Probably have time for two attempts today. Okay, we got one more that we can work, but I'm gonna wait on this one for a minute. Because if censored melts down, probably can't go back in yet. Um Torquio. Work you. It'll take her a minute to get there anyways. I am glad I waited. That's annoying. Brian, you've got it. We'll wait for you to finish, then we can go back in. Got it. Got it. You need to come up and help. Got it. That should be all of them. Should be all of them. Riker, you can go back down. In fact, both of you guys go back down, and then Brian should go in. And then where Joe you go. Okay, let's pause for a second. So I want everybody back together. Because we do have a dusk coming up, and I don't want to lose track of things. So it's better to wait a little bit of extra time than to get frazzled and lose track. He doesn't have it, right? No. He's okay. Okay, we're alright for right now. Weird Joe. Antonius. Uh, Demo. Rachel. Keep an eye on the counter. You two should be fine. You two should be fine. What is it going to put us at? I think it's one away. Okay. Nobody else going to work. No. Everybody needs to move. To the elevator. Or actually, just into the main room. Give everybody a minute, because we're going to have to get the people who aren't working right now, too. Or the people who are working right now, right now, after they're done. So, let's just do that one again. Go ahead and get ready.
Everybody down here. Everybody down here. Okay. Let's give everybody a second. Everybody in here before we start and then somebody go in here and work i guess brian's got it we had him do it last time and this is the easy one this is the one we get every time i'm not complaining because i'm i know that we can handle it it's just funny okay a team get ready to roll out rachel lauren harley weird joe you did good last time you did good the last time. I think I think I'm gonna promote you. Antonio Sandimo, I'd like to. But I don't want well okay, you guys both can go too. But we're bolstering the ranks. We're bolstering the ranks. The three of you are not yet official members of the A team. Not yet officially. Get this guy first. And then get these guys. And then get this guy. Should make real quick work of it. Nice. Get this guy. And then wait in here. Brian, where are you? No, wait in here with me. Okay, all of you guys, I want... Where? Here. There aren't any more down here, right? No, we're fine. That's not good. Lauren. Weird Joe. Antonius. You three wait over there. Yeah, just continue through. Doesn't matter. This is the big, this is the big guy that we want right now. Okay, now let's move into here. That one should only take a second. And then let's move into here. Okay, nice. Are you guys okay? He is out, but that's what we have you guys suppressing for. Okay, I want you guys on him. Slow. Okay, I want him off of her, though. First. He does a lot of damage, but he's only doing red. He is only doing red, so let's give you guys some shield. Probably give you some health bullets, too. We have a new midnight, which is pretty unfortunate. Okay, I told you guys to stay on him, though. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh no, you guys can't do it anymore. Lauren, you probably can. The rest of you guys cannot, and we're gonna need to send the rest of you guys down. There shouldn't be any more printers, so it's okay. We could call the rabbits, but if we have the midnight coming up, I wanna see. Okay, Lauren, don't die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay extra careful, extra close attention to you, you do heal. You do heal, so I, I have faith that you'll be pretty okay. We should be about to... Uh... Okay, everybody get a shield, and everybody get a little bit healed. Okay, he should be done in a second. Okay. Everybody. And you guys included. Start taking out the robots now. I want everybody to regroup. You went down. That's not good. Okay, move over. Move over again. Move up. It's just clean up now. This is a new midnight, and I'm scared. I don't know what I'm. Ex I don't know what to expect. The play seems to be waiting in elevators. Uh, that seems to be universally good. So I think we're gonna try that. 
It's easy to keep track of people. Boy, I was really hoping it was one that I knew what to do for. That's okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll manage somehow. Where's the next one? You're over here. And there should be one down here, but I don't know where. You're right up there. Uh, right. Get like half of you guys to go over here. Uh, yeah, you can get this guy. You're totally fine. Your own. I'm not even worried. Uh, get that guy. Okay, nice. Everybody back. Back to your departments. Actually, I don't even want to do that. I lied. I want everybody to stay... Well, okay, start up here. Everybody, right here. Everybody, right here. Everybody, right in that one over there. And we're just gonna send one person at a time to go work. And then come right back to that elevator. I don't actually know what number this puts us at. Okay, let's start here. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm real nervous right now. Oh. I'm scared. I don't know what to expect. Oh, God, this is going to put us over. No, I don't want to do that yet, then. Uh, you wait. Oh, that was almost a disaster. I want everybody back first. Oh, okay. This is it. Make, uh, make it or break it right here. We have time to do another one if, if things go south. I want everybody back first. We're all in this elevator, yeah? Nobody, nobody's straggling. There shouldn't be anybody left. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. What have we got? Okay, there's something right here. Is that it? Is it just the one? Okay. I think I should have separated the A-team out first. I think that's probably not awful to have done. Um, let's do that real quick by just clicking... Oh my god, what is that? Okay, we're Joe. You go back up. What is that thing? Um, well, it's weak to black. That's nice for us. I guess you know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's just let's just do it like this. Everybody go in. This could be awful. Everybody might be about to die right now. We should probably give it a second to figure out what it's gonna do. But at the same time, it's like, well, it's not doing anything yet. What is that? Oh no. Oh no. Is that gonna hit us? Do we need to run? I think we. <laughs> oh no, run across. They're not gonna make it. Maybe they will. We gotta go fast. They're just panicking. I think. Hmm. There are people still alive. Who is alive? Get out. We've lost a couple of people. Can I restore them back with the bullets? I can't tell. You deal black. Get Brian. What do you do? You do red. Uh, I don't want you doing anything. You're running. Beep and Demo died. It's still moving down. These guys are gonna die. Okay, Lauren, you... Oh, wait. Rachel, are you alive? 
you're alive too. Get Brian. That's not good. That's not good. What if I do this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, they're not gonna make it in time. If I give them a shield, are they gonna be okay? It deals blank, right? It looks like it's just dealing white right now. If I give you guys a white shield, are you gonna be okay? I'm nervous. Give you a blank shield. Okay, they died. Harley is still kicking. Lauren's still kicking. Rachel is insane, I think. Get Rachel. Uh, Carly died. This seems annoying, but she could literally just jump the laser. I want to wait for it to go around again and double check that. You get up here too. Wait, did we get her? I don't think we did. I think she just died. Who's alive? It's just you two. That's fine. That blessing really did something, huh? And the weapon too. Okay. Oh, well, there's Antonius still alive too, but he's just doing his own thing. Uh, is it stopped? Or is it just like recharging? It's recharging, it looks like. Okay, laser goes up. If I just wait on this one, it could be like... Okay, and then if I move you back down, and then do I just wait for the halfway mark and then just send you in? I don't even think I need to wait for the halfway mark. Depends on how close they get, I guess. Okay, that's too close. Maybe I do need to wait for the halfway mark. Get back over here real quick. Okay, go in. Okay, that one's actually pretty easy. That one might be the easiest out of all of them. If I had to rank them just with what I've seen so far, that one's the easiest. The one from yesterday is the hardest. And then the one with the tentacles is in the middle. That one seems incredibly easy to get around like to just deal with uh we're gonna work fast today we're gonna work fast today not that i wasn't working you didn't get hit not that i wasn't working fast earlier but we're gonna work extra fast like we're just gonna send people everywhere anytime there's an available spot we're sending somebody to it and I think I want to get this again. But maybe I don't want to get it on... I think maybe I want to get it with Rachel. Can you deal with him? I feel like probably, right? Rachel's going to be better for us to have that... Well, maybe she would have been better, because she'll take half damage and heals from it, too. The only problem is she doesn't really deal that much. We're going to try it with Rachel for a bit. We're going to try it with Rachel for a bit. What does it do? Uh, it halved damage, but doubled pale. That is probably better with whoever has censored's weapon, then, now that I think about it. That's fine. Let's restart. Let's restart. Because she's already taking half damage because she's healing 40%, so she's taking half more. That's really good. That's really good. I think I'd rather have it on her. We could also, well... No, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go ahead and do this, though. So I don't forget. Lauren. Everybody else, get going. We just want to work. Doesn't matter what we're working. We just want boxes. Don't even care about energy. Just boxes. Make sure everybody's doing something at all times. Start waiting these out. That was on me. But uh, I think... I think we should be okay. We could send somebody that I'm positive will get it, like Antonius. Because he's got 
absolutely killer temperance right now. Uh, let's wait. Let's wait. It's not. It's not a problem yet. It's not a problem yet. We could just send Carly in. Let's go for it. Uh, what's the worst that happens? She gets out. We can definitely suppress her, though. We've done it before. It's just annoying. I don't think Carly's got it. Maybe she's got it. No, the more that I look at it, she's definitely not. She doesn't even have enough boxes yet. She's gonna get out. That's okay. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. I need to work fast, but I need to work carefully. Fast, but carefully. Get it out of the way. Kill some employees. I didn't do that last time. There you go, that's three. Everybody start working. No. I don't really care about punishing for it. Meltdown, where is it? That one and that one. Very easy, very easy. Gotta make sure we're keeping an eye on everybody when they finish. Uh, let's speed it up a little bit. Try and send Brian back in in a second. Brian. I wanna send Rachel in too. work you again. Kill some employees before I forget. You two and you. Okay, got you, got you. Gotta work you. Rachel, get in there. We can work you. We can work you. We can work you. Give Carly another second. Go for it. Beep, go for it. Boop, go for it. Work the top layer. No. You. Uh, yes. And yes. Yes. We have an event coming up. Maori. Maori. You guys in there. Uh, you guys up here. In here. Probably get that one when she's out. You guys in here. You guys in here. You guys in here. Uh, yeah. You guys over here. If I didn't say it already. But I don't think I did. We have some up here, too. We gotta wait for these guys. We gotta wait for these guys. Okay, you're out. Get them. You're out. Go help. You're about to be out. And you're gonna wanna wait up here. Bodies is gonna get out. I'm almost certain. You guys wait. Uh, okay, everything up here is done. What are we waiting on? Okay, we got some over here. Get it. Get it. You guys go help. Because it'll be quicker that way. You guys should almost be done. Nice work. Everybody back. Except for you two, wait up here. Uh, everybody else, back to your departments. Okay, let's keep working. Let's kill some employees. I missed. Gone, gone, and gone. Gotta work as many things as we can, as quickly as we can, because I don't want this episode to be super long. Uh, Brian, you've got it. Not let me down so far, so... Don't imagine you will now. Work up here. Up here, work up here. Work up 
here, over here. Oh, it's melting down. That's annoying. That one's, uh, okay. You're working. You can go up and get it. You're annoying. Why'd you have to do it right when she was in? Riker might have to get it this time. Does he have what it takes? I'm not actually sure. Maybe we'll have to... Okay, Carly, you wait in here and get his... Well... Okay, you're fine. The bullets... Uh, it's a little annoying that I had to use them. It's not like we can't spare a couple of bullets, though. I'm not gonna need them yet. That's for sure. Okay. If I had to pick a midnight to get, it's a green one. Oh, I almost forgot about you. You got it, though. If I had to pick one to get, it's the green one. Because that one seems really easy. Uh, it was stupid of me to run into the laser. But at the same time, at the same time, in my defense, how else do I learn not, or what not to do than by running into the laser? I don't think there is a What, what do you take me for? Somebody who takes this game, like, seriously? Absolutely not. Uh, wow, Brian, you got beat up a little bit. We're gonna need to wait a minute before we send you in there. That one's annoying. Okay, Rachel, as soon as you're done, you gotta go back in. Oh, again? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. She's gonna get out. I get both of you guys, I did get you too. Yikes. Okay. We are kind of in a situation right now. Okay, Brian, you have to go back in. Weird Joe, you have to get, you have to do well. You have to get 16 or higher. I think he's done it. He's done it. The man has done it. Weird Joe, saving the department once again. Okay, we gotta get you. We gotta get you too. Rachel, you're done. Go down here. That should be everything. Melting down. Except for you, but I'm not working you. You were useless. Um, we work you. Work some people up top, too. Not a reason uh, not to. No. Yes. Okay, we gotta be careful though, because this one will actually cause some issues for us if we're not careful. So we gotta make sure we're keeping an eye on how many people we're sending into work. Just gotta be mindful. Just gotta be mindful. Work you. Work you again. That should be one away. Or two away. I think it's one away. It is one away. Everybody in the hallway. Everybody in this hallway. That's an elevator. Everybody in this elevator, please. Oh, uh, what I'm trying to say is everybody out of the main area. You guys over there, you guys over here. You guys over here. Uh, and you guys are probably fine right there, but... Well, yeah, you're fine right there. They will not spawn in. Okay, you guys, I need to make sure I get all of you. I'm sending you over just in case I'm paranoid. Even though I'm sending them into here. No, I'm sending you guys into the elevator too. I'm not risking it. There's too much on the line. By too much on the line, I mean I've spent too much time doing this already. I don't want to spend another hour. <laughs> uh, Everybody should be out. Let's send... Weird Joe. Okay, where are they? Here, here, and here, and here. Okay. It's a good thing you guys are all right here. I probably shouldn't send you all over to him, though. Oh, boy. Especially not now. Back. We want to pick and choose. Okay. Boop. Maybe not. Let's start here and see how we go. Jeez. Okay, not looking so hot. He's continuing to eat bodies. 
But I think we're, yeah, we got him down a stage. Rodolta escaped. Yeah, because these guys are doing their thing, aren't they? Yikes, we need to take care of this. Okay, you guys start working. Okay, you guys can go, just you, just you in the elevator. You can go get this one as well. Carly, uh, get this one. Oh, boy, oh boy. This one is priority, I don't want him getting out. You can get out and I will live. If you get out, it's game over. We got him. Okay, team, uh, suppress. Everybody, suppress. What are they, what are they doing? Who are they letting out? That's fine, that's okay. Annoying, but manageable. Okay, nice. I'd like everybody to wait in this room. And then I would like everybody, everybody in this room, and then I want everybody to get this guy. And then I want everybody to get this guy. It's not hard, it's just annoying. And you guys can actually stop and get rid of them. I'm not worried about that. But you guys can help, probably. Everybody, everybody just... Uh, yeah, show them, show them who's boss around here. Thank you. Is that not it? No, there's one up here. Go get it. Which, honestly, this guy probably could take it on his own. Nice work. Nice work, everyone. Back to your, back to your appropriate rooms. We haven't lost anybody yet. Uh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Not that I expected to, however, uh... I'd like to point out uh, when we're doing good, when we're doing good, because, well, it makes me feel more motivated to finish the day. <laughs> uh, right. Back to work. Back to work. Enough, enough lollygagging. You got stuff to do, guys. Where, Joe, were you here the whole time? Unsure. I'd like to hope not. I'd like to hope not. Would have been nice to have you helping. Uh, no. Yes. Demo, I know I'm slacking on you a little bit, but times are tough right now. We've got very specific things that we need to be doing. And I don't want to mess up the flow. This is going to put us into meltdown, which is fine. Who's melting down? Probably melting love. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Wow, that's wrong. It's not a bad thing that was wrong. I'm actually quite glad. Wait, that's annoying. That one's not. Oh, Carly, you can't go in yet. Uh, okay, you're fine now. Uh, anybody else of importance? You're melting down, and you're melting down as well. So, let's do that. Well, <laughs> as I'm sure that you all just read, uh, yeah, I, uh, I accidentally kicked the cables into my computer with my foot at this part. I didn't realize until the end of the day, 
and it's unfortunate. Uh, it's it's real unfortunate. We did lose some some quality jokes. Uh, you know you know how I like to joke in these videos. It kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. I'm gonna provide voiceover. Uh, here I am, post editing Brian. Well, current editing Brian. It's Brian from the future. Yeah, this is Brian from the future, and I'm giving you commentary on what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. I won't exactly be able to remember what was going through my head at the time, but you know what? Hey, we're here for it. Uh, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. It'll definitely be better than just watching gameplay for 30 minutes of silence. I can promise that. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now I'm actually kind of fearful. Uh, as I'm sure that you can see, that is not a dusk I've done before. I'm quite frazzled about it. Uh, I'm trying to get everybody to work, but I'm being extremely cautious as to how many people I send in because, uh, well, we don't know what we're in for. We don't know what we're in for. Uh, I know that it's the big guys because they are the Vav ones that were from yesterday's Midnight Orc deal. And with that in mind, I am trying to keep everybody in the elevators right before we start it. But that is all that I have planned to do. Right now, I'm just being extremely sparse with who I send to work. And yeah, uh, that's about all that I'm doing right now. We also were buying all the stuff for the shoes, which I don't actually remember the name of because, uh, well, I haven't spent more than five minutes in that tab because it's not really worth my time. Um, yeah, so here it comes. We are sending Weird Joe, who, in fact, unfortunately, also cut from the audio. We kind of made uh, a decision about Weird Joe. Weird Joe, Antonius, and Demo. So, we have created a B team. And those are the three members of the B team. Sometimes, occasionally, but not often. It is primarily Antonius, Demo, and Weird Joe. They have become the B team. Uh, because, well, they're not quite there in terms of A team. Lauren is even a little bit of a stretch for me. But the powerhouse combo that she is today is insane. Um, I'm not going to say anything, obviously. It's it's hard to talk about. <laughs> it's hard to talk about the episode without talking about the episode. It will come. It, it will come to fruition later. Uh, however, that is something that I'm going to start doing. Now we have this one. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I know that I'm attacking from behind because they only deal damage from the front. So I'm trying to make sure that everybody stays on top of each other. And there goes Weird Joe. He takes big damage. I'm trying to make sure that everybody stays on top of each other but behind them as we go through. These things were so annoying. These things were so annoying. It's not that they're hard. But I'm, I do not enjoy the fact that I have to chase them down every time they move. Uh, I get quite annoyed with it, actually. Uh, yeah, it it just starts to get on my nerves because it's it's just annoying. I mean, it's a, it's a chore. It's a chore to go track them down. It's like the the jester guys from the dust, or not the dust, from the dawn. They're fine to deal with. It's just annoying to have to run to them. Uh, here we came in from the wrong side and. I'm trying to move everybody to the end of the room. Uh, I figure Brian will be fine. Brian ends up being fine, obviously. He's Brian. He's uh, Brian is not going to die to the likes of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of moving people around. It's just a lot of sending people to different rooms. Yeah, we try and use the bullets to slow him down, but it doesn't seem to do anything at all. And it quickly quickly comes to my realization that it's not entirely the best option. This was fun. Uh, yeah, so we got out and I didn't have the manpower to go fight that along with this dusk. The biggest issue was the fact that he was going to eat all the dead bodies that these guys were creating and he was going to become unstoppable and I wouldn't be able to get him. So rabbits, obviously, best case scenario. They've already taken him out at this point. Like, the crisis is over. I literally go back in two seconds and check it. He's already done. And, yep, there it is. The rabbit team does not play around, and that is why I kind of like using them for every single insignificant section of this game that I just don't feel like dealing with. We're 
approaching the end. Uh, we don't have very many left. At this point, I'm basically talking about how excited I am that we have a Purple Midnight because, well, we know how to handle the Purple Midnight. We, in fact, know how to handle it so well that we've done it already. And uh, basically, I'm just talking about how glad that I was that, well, we get to deal with Purple Midnight instead of uh, the other Midnights that kind of were easy, but not really. Um, I'm also talking about, at this point, how I am glad that not only is it purple that we've done it that's the big part it's not that it's one of the hard ones that we know about it's that it's we've done it we know that we can do it uh, i also made a uh, ranking at this point in time i was talking about how if i had to put them all in a list it's definitely it's definitely the amber midnight at the bottom because that one sucks it's the green midnight and then it's the purple midnight from hardest to easiest because the the green the green seems easy it's just a lot of elevator scooting the purple is the easiest because you really just have to move uh you just run I mean, you just run away from things you just you just keeping track of stuff and moving around it's not that hard the amber one sucks i hate that one with every ounce of my being um it's just not fun. It's just not fun. I will stand by that statement until the day that I die. This should be the last one, I'm pretty sure. It is. We finish this, um, start to prep. I decide to keep everyone in the elevator and just work from the elevator, like I did last time. Uh, we know it works, we know that we can keep everybody together. It's a very, uh, a very just easy way to make sure that everybody stays where I want them, and I don't really have to worry. I'm being extremely cautious that I don't overwork, and that I don't send too many people in. Um, I mentioned several times how I really do not want to trigger this without everybody being ready and everybody being back, quite simply because, uh, well, I don't think that I will be able to keep them alive. fast approaching the end of the countdown and at this point in time I'm basically just talking about what the strategy is going to be uh, it's exactly the same as last time we are going to keep them separated in the elevators, the A-team and then everybody else and we're going to try and keep them all in a manageable spot because it's easy to move them around if they're all right on top of each other obviously that just makes my life easier. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do at this point. Here it is. Here it is. I take a couple, a couple deep inhales and I go immediately for the pale one. Well, the main reason being the eye sucks. A plain and simple, the eye sucks. It's not fun. It's not fun to deal with. It's, it's annoying. And it does the most damage out of everything because everybody's weak to it. Uh, I'm trying to move the A-team on the top to the left, to the elevator. And then I want the rest of them to move into that elevator that I just sent the A-team to right there. Uh, I also figure out that you can scoot past the tentacles through the elevators too. Uh, this seems like an extremely, like, <laughs> broken part of the game. The fact that you can avoid nearly everything by just going into an elevator. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's a process to get them over, but we do it. Uh, it takes a little bit. We're, we're just working. We're slowly working our way to it. Uh, we're trying to keep track of the A-team as they're in there. We don't want the eye going back on top. I'm trying to make a point of keeping them out of harm's way as, I mean, as, as much as we can with as, as much as going on. Uh, this is actually a funny part. The tentacle hit them. And... Naturally, my response to that is, oh, well, they didn't really take any damage, so they can just get hit by the tentacle from now on. Yeah. Yeah. Poor, poor Brian. <laughs> P 
Poor, poor Brian, not understanding the repercussions to saying something like that. Uh, yeah, we're still just working. We're still just working on getting the pale one. Uh, I'm mostly just talking about how annoying it is to keep track of everybody, but how much more I prefer this midnight ordeal than any of the other ones. It's coming back, trying to move everybody. They're taking a beating. I know that they're taking a beating. I'm trying to decide whether I want to use bullets on them. I go for it, just better safe than sorry. I'd rather not lose anybody if I don't have to. Um, and I'm also mentioning how nice Lauren's shield is, aside from the blue. How she doesn't really take uh, anything. Uh, I move them all back to the main area too because they kind of took a beating and I don't want to use all my bullets to heal them. So I'm trying to just give them as quick of a heal as I can, and then that thing gets in the way, so I immediately have to move. And that also, <laughs> that also happens. I was so afraid that they were all <laughs> I was so afraid that they were all dead. It really did give me a mini heart attack. Uh, that is not the only mini heart attack that we have. Oh no. Oh no. This midnight ordeal is a lot harder than the last one was. In terms of what is happening and what is going on. I, I'm gonna go and say I did not manage this one as well as I managed the last one. I got a lot more loose with it because I was more comfortable with it because I'd done it already. Um, and so I let a lot of things slide that I probably shouldn't have. I also say right there that I apologize to all my employees for moving them directly into harm's way because, well, that's exactly what I did. I moved them into the room and they all got speared. I'd also like to once again apologize for the fact that I have to do this voiceover. Uh, I hope it's good enough. <laughs> I figured it would be better than nothing because uh, you were gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be stuck with nothing if I didn't do this. It's if of all the episodes to have to do one for, I wish it wasn't this one. I feel like half of the Midnight Ordeal, what makes it entertaining is the fact that I get so worked up over it, and that I was so, like, tense, trying to manage everything. Um, when we take out the pale one, I'm glad. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do next. I decided I want to go with white because white's kind of annoying. It, it, white is probably the easiest of the ones that we have to deal with, but it's also the most annoying because it hits the most often because of just how big of a, like, a range it has. So I decide, well, okay, the, the next best thing is gonna go for white. So that's what we start doing. We start moving everybody down. I wanna try and keep them centralized in the central control room because, well, it's big and I can keep track of everything that's happening. And at the same time, I'm trying to move the A-team in to hit the monolith. It's going okay, but it's not going well. This part was annoying. Boop got hit with Tentacle. And this is exactly what I was talking about. How I said, oh, they'll be fine. The Tentacle doesn't even do that much damage. Boop lost his mind. And I'm trying to decide how I want to handle this. I decide, okay, whoever is in here that can deal white, let's try and get him before he gets out. Because I thought that he was going to try and kill himself. I thought that was what was going to happen. So I was like, okay, well, let's just try and get him. Uh, no. He ended up leaving. And I said, well... Boop is nice around the department, but he's not great. And then I was like, okay, well, Brian and Riker are not doing anything, and they're pretty fast, and they have ranged weapons. Well, Brian does, at least. We can just get him. Yeah, and then this happens. And then the tentacle comes in the way, and I'm like, is he worth it? <laughs> is, is Boop's life worth potentially losing part of the A-team? My, my decision is we're going to do as much damage as we can until the very last second and then leave. I try and shield him. I don't think it's going to do anything. We, we run. 
I keep Brian on him because Brian doesn't need to stay. Uh, and then we let Boop take it. Uh, and then we immediately went back in. Uh, at this point I'm also talking about how there's too much going on and I can't keep track of everything because, well, there is too much going on and, well, I can't keep track of everything. We keep losing employees. Managed to sex uh, oh boy, that was not a word I want to say. Successfully, <laughs> successfully recover Boop, bring him back with the rest of the team, move everybody over because there's a tentacle in the way. It's just, it's just the standard, it's just the standard maneuvers. Uh, I also decided that Brian and Riker are probably fine, I don't feel like moving them. They are. They, uh, they take some damage, but it's not anything awful. Just checking the health, mentioning how they're not doing great damage against it because none of their weapons are really great except for Carly's. Carly is dealing the most damage out of anybody there. Probably with Lauren in second. And then Rachel's probably last just because of how slow she is. everybody around trying to make sure nobody's getting hit unnecessarily doing a pretty good job of it doing a pretty good job of it they're about to finish I'm deciding that we're gonna go the black one next because it's right there we don't really have to move everybody around that much so we're at this point trying to figure out how we're gonna move everybody down um, because there's a lot happening and I don't feel great with all of the, well, I guess I'll say expendables, but I'm talking about the non-A team. I don't know how I feel with the non-A team in the central command because of how big it is, which was the same problem that we had last time because there's just too much space. There's too many opportunities for them to take damage. It's not good. It's not good on anybody. Uh, I'm trying to find a place I can move them to uh, and at this point in time, I haven't quite decided. But we did just finish that monolith. We're trying to decide, uh, no, we end up going with black. Black is easier, it's closer. Everybody's right there. Uh, we do decide to move everybody down, though. That doesn't deal black. Or that does deal black. We move everybody that's black dealer to the bottom left corner of the, uh, the, not the records department. Oh, which one is that? No, that is the records department, isn't it? It is the records department. I was, I'm an idiot. Yes, the records department. We move them to the bottom left corner of the records department to get them into possession to hit the red one. While we send Brian and Riker in to deal with the black one. It's pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot going on. Just a lot of moving them up and down when things come. I also talked about how it's easier to move them over there than to keep them in the central command because, well, there literally aren't any tentacles over there. Uh, I hadn't seen a single spear or hand in that general area the entire time I was doing this, and I wasn't really worried to move them over there because I didn't think they were going to get hit. Just like I said, just a lot of waiting. I really wasn't talking during this part either. It was just a lot of focusing in on what was happening because I didn't want Brian and Riker to get stabbed with the Black Spears of Death because, well, I didn't think they could handle it and live. Uh, I was kind of neglecting the left-hand side, but like I said, I hadn't seen anything over there and I wasn't wholly afraid that they were going to take any damage.
At this point, I was super annoyed that that, <laughs> that the claw came into that room, like literally into the room, because it just was such an awkward position to move. I didn't think I'd get out on the left hand side without being hit, so we just we just ran everybody over to uh, disciplinary. At this point in time, I'm starting to eye the red monolith, trying to decide what the best course of action is. I have noticed it is in an extremely long hallway, and I have made point to mention several times that I don't feel like anybody is safe in there, because I don't think I'll be able to get them out in time. Because they're fast, but they're not that fast, and I think that if they're all up on top of that, it's not going to be good. I also forget which team I sent in, and I send <laughs> I send everybody in to fight the monolith, and graciously thank them for their for the effort. Uh, I, I like the hustle, but you're unneeded right now. Get the rest of the A team on it. Send them in. Start fighting. Again, still worrying about how long the hallway is, and how I don't think I'll be able to get him out in time. And here comes the biggest heart attack of the entire episode. Riker, <laughs> oh boy, Riker was on three health, and I immediately went into panic mode because we can't lose Riker. Riker is a star employee and I cannot get his gear back. So at this point I'm trying to figure out what I what I can do. I decide that it makes the most sense to send the ranged employees into fight. Carly and Riker you have to tap out. I was worried to send Lauren in but then I remembered she had half shield and she was taking half damage with Sensor's weapon and I was like I think you're I think she's totally fine. I think she's totally fine. She is a tank. She's a serious tank. Everybody else was just making out in time because they were right next to the door, but she was just fully tanking the damage and absolutely being okay after this. So I just switched, I swapped them out, I just sent in everybody that was ranged, and Lauren, because, like I said, Lauren is easily able to take the damage. Just a game of moving them in and out. Keep talking about how beefy Lauren is and how while she's not in a lift gear, she might as well be because she's kind of unstoppable compared to everybody else. She got hit full force along with Riker and, and Carly, but took almost nothing. I wanted to slow it down a little bit because I was worried that they were going to be... I was going to be too slow to react. Uh, I decided against it though because I was pretty much doing fine as it was. I'm worrying about Brian a little bit here just because that one came right on top of him. I didn't know how he would fare against a full, like, tanking of that damage, I figured I didn't want to try it again because, well, the last time we tried to tank damage like that, everybody died. Uh, yeah, flashback to yesterday's episode in the Midnight Suppression. That sucked. That absolutely sucked. Almost done. Almost done. Annoyed that those guys came in. Immediately send them back in. We just want to finish it as quickly as we can. And then I say, and I quote, get me out of this day, I am done. <laughs> uh, 
And I was so happy that we made it with zero deaths because, well, they say that makes it a place where one can find happiness quite with their own way of life anymore. Quite, quite the, uh, quite the eventful is, day. That is, we not that only completed a, a midnight, but uh, we did it without losing anybody. Fitting into Gotta say, I'm quite happy with that. Adam Malley's not history. I get to read these out uh, as if no I was reading them out like then. That's fun. Under the guise we'll of the innovations that were needed in we'll the world, we'll see how in line I am with the different technologies known as singularity. First, we have O-04-100. Production of what it has, the more beautiful it is. The manufacturing of customized uh, Then we have T-04-53. Bearing the hope to turn to dust, artificial shall go back to the grave with all that desires to live. The technology to preserve the present by binding time. Then we have T-04-50. Similar to the food chain. You feel an abdominal pain and tingling sensation or eating by large The best thing you can do is look at the great blue sky and point. They were called the wings of the world. And soon, we're going to go with this one because that one sounds cool. <laughs> people who started their uh, and now we're caught people up. Who started Thank you all. I oh apologize again. We can derive their, their purpose for existence program. from belonging to the wings. However, the truth was, everyone was slowly melting like the wings of Icarus. They may appear to be encouraging the development of the world for the better, but their nature is no different from ours. There's always a price to pay. Any sane person would know that the deeds the wings commit in the name of the betterment of society are in fact the most humiliating aspects of these corporations. They are the disgrace of the world and its people. Lobotomy corporations and rival energy com uh, corporations aren't that different from us, I presume. Who knows? Maybe they really are twisting dimensions to garner energy from hell, as the rumors say. In every man, the two instincts, the primal essence of life and death, coexist. The wings only guided our instinct of life. However, if one instinct were to dominate too much, the other would begin to make its move, slowly and unbeknownst to us from the depths. Soon, a world where everyone wants to return to nothing will arrive into the stillness of silence before the birth of mankind. She who loved sunshine, who wanted to give hope to mankind but failed, when the hand that only wanted to embrace humanity was with warmth was ruthlessly severed, you clutched the void, and saw the crack between the boundaries that were never shown to others. Left alone, you decided to instill possibility and potential into mankind. Hope and despair are intertwined in that possibility, making it impossible for anyone to know the answer. If all repressed things can be extracted from the earth, you said to yourself. In those days, you looked absolutely terrible. Many co-workers, friends, were worried about you and tried to comfort you, but you didn't care. You wouldn't listen to anything. I guess you still needed them at some point. Seeing as you were the one who locked them away in here, barely holding on to the husks of their dead bodies. Uh, wow, that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's done. It is done. Oh, we have a suppression now for Gibira for tomorrow. These are getting hard. These are getting hard. No, I don't. I have expanded Shisset's apartment to level 5, I believe. That's okay. We'll do more missions tomorrow. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I post daily at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. As always, I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody.